During his testimony, Motley Gugubel has admitted there has been serious divisions within the board of the Public Investment Corporation. That was over the way members dealt with the serious allegations of mismanagement against then-CEO Dan Machila. He was accused of giving his lover a big loan using PIC funds. The board threw in the towel on the 1st of February when an alleged whistleblower, James Nogu, sent emails to top executives at the PIC. Nogu's claimed certain board members, including Gungubele, have been trying to capture the asset manager. If I were to, if I was allowed to reason without thinking, I'm, I'm, I strongly believe it's within the institution. Because the manner, it, it is, the manner in which it is couched, it must be somebody who understands the dynamics in the institution. I'll give you an example. For instance, without delving into the details of my situation, in any situation where you work, you work closer with so-and-so, closer with so-and-so, and so on. And most of the time, you tend to agree with, even in a situation where there are no negative issues. There's a, there's a sharing, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, how do I put this? There's a, there are people you easily, you are in the same space in, the, in terms of your attitude to life or you end up even drinking together and so on. But in this instance of PIC, the, whoever is actually no good, understand closely what is happening in the PIC. When I said to you, every time the board is divided, 99% of the time it's around when we deal with the issue of Dr. Michelle. But on other issues of governance, we've always found none of that. When you look at the content of those emails, it's somebody who's, who has got a close understanding of that. I, I doubt it could be somebody who is, who, who is who's, 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 who's confidently speculative from outside. During his testimony, the Deputy Minister also said the 4.3 billion rand investment into AO technology completely flouted the PIC's processes. The PIC manages more than 2 trillion rand in assets on behalf of Government Employees Pension Fund. Any dodgy dealings will put these pensions at risk. Heidi Jokos, Pretoria.